Hi, my name's Molly Stone. I'm in charge of the Animal Behavior and Care Department here at the SPCA. These are my friends Haley and Spence. Some of our longtime cats, they've been here almost a year now, and they're still waiting for their forever homes. What you might not know is that you can train a cat just like you can train a dog or any other animal with a spinal cord. And if you take one of our cats home and you have some behavioral trouble with them after your adoption, well, you can always call the SPCA's behavior team and we are here to help you. Um, we can do home visits to support you, help modify be cat behavior problems, including aggression toward other cats, aggression toward people, um, clawing your furniture or litter box issues, whatever, whatever might be happening. If you choose to adopt one of the long-time cats here at the SPCA, we're going to waive the adoption fee completely. So that means at no cost to you, you get spay-neuter surgery, a microchip to identify your friend, um, all of the age-appropriate vaccines, some flea and tick preventative, plus the behavior support um, for, for after the adoption. Uh, these long-time cats have been here for quite a while, and the longer they stay, the more difficult it is for us to bring other cats in from shelters where their lives are immediately in danger. So, if you adopt one of my longtime friends from the SPCA, then you not only help this cat, but you help the next three or four cats, or 14 cats, or 30 cats who might be coming to take over the space that this cat's been occupying. So it's really a, it's really a trickle-down act of kindness that has a big effect on a lot of lives. Doesn't it, Spence? It agrees.